Right, the next function module I want to introduce to you guys is uh, it's called the if statement. So which keeps the robots way smarter than you know not using this if statement. The reason is you can think about that. When we are making a judgment, we are usually checking or ask ourselves if this is this kind of condition, then we are going to do that, right? So this is a, how the way human beings think and or making decisions. It's the same to the robot. We can program the robot to make it smarter by using the if statement. So the if statement belongs to the control tag. And now let's go to the control and find out the if statement over here. So we are going to do a quick check after every time we update the speed. So which means this has to be, you know, after has to follow this speed update. So which means it's going to be here. And we are going to check if the speed is too high, which means we may need a thresh threshold value, for example, 100, 200, whatever. So we are going to make a comparison uh, of our variable to that specific constant in every loop. And whenever it is larger than that speed, we are going to stop the spiral bolt. So since I just mentioned comparison, so you need a comparator here. Go to comparators and this guy put it on the first line of the if statement. So if variable one is larger than, for example, 100, let's find out variable one first. If variable one, wait, where's my variable one? Okay, I didn't, uh, I was, so I put variable one over here. So if variable one is larger than, a hundred, for example, then what? Then stop the robot. So stop, it's a type of movement, right? So it's not moving, but it's a, you know, kind of static movement. Um, so it should belong to the movement category and stop. So in order to do a demonstration, we have to change the value back. So it is able to go forward, not backward. All right. Because the acceleration is too high, so it's going to reach 100 really quick, really quickly, because I just mentioned that the computer runs uh, code really fast, so which means it's going to run like this. Mm. So you can imagine, you know, one at uh, the first, after the first loop, uh, variable one is going to hold nine instead of one because you know the originally it was one and after it get into the the loop for the first time it becomes nine so nine then add to eight will be seventeen and so on and so forth I mean you know no more than probably twenty something loops I couldn't do the cal quick calculation here it's going to reach a hundred really quickly. And you know that the loop is running super fast, so it can run 20 times really quickly, actually. So which means maybe your spiral ball won't be able to move, you know, uh, make a, a decent displacement, and then it's going to stop really quickly. And before we change the code, let's, what, why not just, you know, try to run it and see what's going to happen over here. So I'm going to click run. Okay, so I just lost the connection. Now I have to reconnect it. All right, got this connected, and I'm going to start the... All right, so what's the problem? If variable is larger than 100, then stop. But however, it seems like it's keep going and it's not trying to stop at all. 
Okay, so the reason the spiral ball didn't stop is because we didn't exit the program. You know, if you didn't, if you don't do that, even though it stopped the uh, the robot really quickly, but the thing is, it's gonna go back to the top of the to the top of the loop and keep running this again and again uh, to assign a speed to this to the motor over here because this is gonna, it's going to come back it's after it's done with the if statement it's going to come out from this block and then go back to the top of the loop because it's a forever loop it's going to keep doing this uh, but the thing is you know you have to put an exit program after the stop so it's going to stop run stop running everything and to make a full stop to the robot and so this time, let's try this again and see if it's going to stop. Okay, so just move a little bit and then stop. The reason is we have a pretty high acceleration rate, so it's going to reach 100 really quickly. And now let's change the acceleration rate to 1, and you expect uh, it's going to take a longer time to add the speed to 100. You know, as it just moves a uh, moved a little bit longer distance. All right, so here is the demonstration for how to using the loop and if statement, and uh, we may have some uh, exercise or tests asking you guys to uh, to try it on your side, and we'll see how that works.